Hi guys, this is Mr. Adams from Midway High School, and today's video is going to be on balancing simple redox reactions, okay? Um, as always, I hope everyone is staying safe and taking necessary, necessary precautions um, in terms of um, what's, what's been given out. All right. Um, in terms of balancing simple redox reactions, right? It's very, very simple. We're following up on the ability to actually write half reactions, right? And what we're going to do, we're going to look at each half reaction, okay, the oxidation and reduction half reaction, and we're going to look at the number of electrons. So let's go through some steps right now. So we're going to separate, right? We're going to separate the substance oxidized from the substance reduced, okay? And we know how to do that, all right? We're going to put in the oxidation numbers. If your oxidation number went up, you got oxidized. If your oxidation number went down, you got reduced, okay? Now next, what we're going to do, right? The atoms, right, we're going to make sure on both sides must, must, must be equal in terms of the half reactions. You must have the same number of atoms on both sides. All right. Then we're going to balance the charges with electrons. All this we've done already with half reactions. Now, the addition to what we've learned before is step number four right here. If the electrons in the half reactions are not equal, right, we're going to use the lowest common multiple to make them equal. And if you don't understand what I just said there, we will do an example. So don't worry about it. No problem. All right. So let's go. This is an example right here. The first guy right here, Ca, right, calcium, is oxidation number what? Okay. The oxidation number is going to be zero because it's by itself alone, right? No charge. So zero, right? Now, if you have a monoatomic ion, right, like Al plus three, Whatever the charge of the ion is, okay, that's going to be its oxidation state. So Al plus 3 is basically the same thing. It's going to be a, a 3 plus oxidation state, all right? The same thing for this monoatomic ion of calcium over here, okay? Whatever the charge is, that's going to be its oxidation state. So we'll write 2 plus there, okay? All righty. Now, Al alone by itself with no charge, the oxidation state is going to be zero. Okay, so we just put our oxidation numbers in because without oxidation numbers, we cannot tell whether something got oxidized. We cannot tell whether something got reduced. So assigning oxidation numbers is very, very important. All right, so let's go. So we're going to do the oxidation half reaction. I'm using shorthand, okay? here and uh, we know that's doing leo right because loss of electrons oxidation now what do you think we're going to write for that now who got oxidized now once again you look at the numbers you look from where you started to where you finished now if you go from zero right to plus two we agree your numbers going up so you don't stress you write down ca okay zero okay then you're gonna put an arrow all right going to ca2 plus all right so you have one calcium here you have one calcium there okay so you're happy right now now we have to do what we have to balance the charges with the electrons why is that because we have a total of zero on this side in terms of charge but in this side it's two plus so we as learned before right when we do leo where do we put the electrons if it's showing loss of electrons we must put the electrons on the product side okay so we're going to put plus now how many electrons is going to make both sides equal if this side's total is zero and this is two plus it makes sense that we're going to put two electrons here okay so two negatives plus two positives give us zero so that's our balance half reaction for oxidation okay now let's try reduction half reaction. So RED, HR, okay. Okay, so we have AL plus three right here. So you can write that down, AL plus three. We're gonna show an arrow, yeah. Going to AL zero, right? Now this time we have three plus on our reactant side and zero on this side. So how many electrons do you think we're gonna to need to balance this um, reduction half reaction? We're going to need 
three electrons. Okay, now so we've successfully written our oxidation and reduction half reaction, right? Now let's move on. Okay, step four. We see, let me use a different color. We see that these number of electrons in terms of the oxidation, right? And in terms of the reduction, right? Okay, they're not equal, but we're not going to panic, all right? We're going to make them equal, all right? So we have that ability. So let me go over here. So let's say, right, we have, okay, um, calcium here, right? And calcium there, and with two electrons, okay? Now, this is three electrons. So what's the, what's the lowest common multiple people for those guys, all right? No, two and three for the lowest common multiple will be six, right? So do we agree that three, okay, times two gives us six? And do we also agree that two times three also gives us six? Now, the reason I'm putting the parentheses around these guys right here is the, you know, for math, if you multiply one variable in a setup, you must do the same thing for everything. So we're going to have, I'll write it over here, three calciums, all right, three calciums, zero, arrow, three distributes to this Ca2+, plus, three Ca, okay, plus two, okay, plus six electrons. Let's go over it again. Three times Ca, that's three Ca, okay, three times Ca2+, plus, or plus two, three, plus three Ca plus two, and this three times two electrons will give us six electrons right there. Let's go for Al. Now, notice Al is being multiplied by two this time, right? So it's going to be two times Al plus three, all righty. Then two again distributing times these three electrons plus six electrons, yeah? Arrow, two times this Al right here. So this is going to be 2 times Al0. We're almost there. Okay. What's our next step? If we have, use a different color, if we have, right guys, 6 electrons on the product side and 6 electrons on the reactant side, guess what we can do to them. Now, if you said we can cancel them out, or get rid of them, you're absolutely correct, okay? So we can cancel out these electrons right here because they're now equal, you're gone. All right, cancel out. Now, what we're going to do next is everything on the reactant side, we're going to put it in this equation, okay, in the bottom on the reactant side. Then everything on the product side, okay, we're going to put an equation on the product side. So we have three, okay, from here, three calciums, zero plus two here a l plus three okay those are my two guys on the reactant side now this is my arrow here right so i'm gonna put my arrow okay what am i producing i'm producing three calciums at plus two oxidation state plus okay three calciums at plus two plus lastly two a l's zero oxidation state and that's your final answer so that's how you balance right um a simple redox reaction if they ask ask you how to balance this balance two half reactions um in terms of electrochemistry that's how you would do it so this right here would be your final answer all righty now guys here's what i need to do i have a couple of guys listed here I want you guys to do these on a separate loose leaf and send them in to me later, okay? Once again, it's a very, very simple setup. Show your oxidation half reaction. Show your reduction half reaction. Balance each half reaction with electrons, okay? Then you use multiples, lowest column multiple if necessary, to get the number of electrons equal, and you add the equations up. All right, guys, as always, hard work plus sacrifice always equals success. Um, please be safe. Um, we will get through this. I know it's a very, very tough time right now, but stay focused and be well. Take care.